10. But what about the suspect? Why the suspect that we won't find out. This mystery suspect who would be the other witness. So when Bernstein puts out that report and then a couple months saying no charges will be filed, that's when they'll release the name. But we won't hear that because they never did the follow-up. And they're going to do that in a couple months because the sensationalism and the thought of that is gone. You no. will not miss it. You know, it says that police already have a version that's going to satisfy their base. This is absolutely true. And actually, that's the only version we're getting in all this. Sorry. Exactly. I was going to say, me being from D.C. and New Orleans, we're so used to this because there is no free press or free media. All of this is spinning because all of these are spin dollars. Even our Washington Post, yes. and the Washington Times, our African American. But you know who does probably the Washington Post now? Peter Herman. You know where he came from? Baltimore Sun. I mean, they're really good at it here. So good that they get exported to other cities to do it. They, I'm serious. They I'm not serious. Al, Al Jazeera sent uh, Adam made Al Jazeera <laughs> from from WJC 13. Yeah. He's doing America tonight now. He's talking about America. the nation's capital, where you have senators, congressmen, everybody even from Maryland. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A clergy mm -hmm. even has its own spin doctor, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Now, to be the free Lance paper that you're going to be the voice for, we really have to realize that how we disseminate information and how we also try to get information. Yes. You know what I mean? And the key to that is there is no front doors to it. No. You know what I mean? So, Even the back door, I get kicked out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Do we have to? You, you know, got to take it. every opportunity that we get and use it. We cannot Absolutely. let it go. You see something, you got time, you got your business, you shop it with you know, it is what it is. If we don't sit here and do this, they're going to continue to do what they're doing. I'm from Chicago, this is coming. So yeah, I spent a lot of time It's coming, and what they're doing up there is coming here. And if you don't stop it now, you're just going to get broke over. But our key thing is, we're Yes, absolutely. Each person in here has 10 to 20 people on your Facebook or anything else, yes. and that's how we really get the information out there. Right. Now, with the things that we see on YouTube and everything else, with people like my brother here with the camera on the buses and everything else, we need a mainframe, so to speak, where we can bring it out before it gets out to anyone else. You know what I mean? And put our, not only spin, but we have to put a world win on it. Because before we even put it out, if one whisper of it gets out, they already know where we're coming from. Yeah. I guarantee you right now, because we've been on Facebook myself, and Pros and I know I'm guilty of this, but I had two officers that pros me and they say, are you headed towards or anything else? Well, they don't have to question me, they just tell me, so I mean. But it's best that we do it like that because of their lost. I said, they don't have enough. We have the best call. Is that today or are you going to do it? I um I was on like, one of the goals that this man stated here, and I do thank you for allowing me so much time <laughs> for inviting me to is you know an independent citizen review. This is kind of what this, this process is. This is just one side of it. Right. The other side would be actually finding the witnesses and talking about that they can keep the process. When I watch the scenes, a lot of what you may see on Twitter and stuff is a picture of the scene and some of the stuff I observe. But part of the real reason I'm there is to try to talk to people. What did you see? What really happened here? When I went to my dominant at that police abolition, I talked to several witnesses. Everyone said the guy was running away. I'm not a threat to that. I'm a teacher, and if you can read this, I'm not a threat. Because if I'm going that way, I'm, I'm not a threat. Yeah, you know, the guy's hands are there. I had the front of that. Yeah, I never saw it, but I, I made it because I need money now. But <laughs> everybody said that, but somehow that police shooting was justified from this man who essentially, you know what, he, what his defense was, by the way? Does anybody remember? Which one? The, the one in Montgomery Southern. He drove the wrong way on a one way street. <laughs> and the officer tried to stop him, and he bailed out the car and ran. So he got Shot. attempted murder. That's when he shoots him. He didn't die. That's attempted murder. Because he was escaping. And they're going to they're gonna bring up if he had a criminal record. He oh, that's it. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. That's it. What happened after that case? Who knows? It's kind of like a match. And that's what they try to do with all of these. That's one of the main reasons you don't get the names also. Because the names are like you to follow. A lot of you try to disperse it out. They try to bury 
And then the next snow or the next Columbia loss, you know that that's all we're going to hear about. And we've all forgotten. We've moved on. I'm going to hit the last couple points and yield over here. <coughs> in the near bottom, one, two, three, four paragraphs up, we finally get the definition. This is at the bottom. Most people, very busy, short attention spans, a Twitter-fied MTV world. They skim articles. They don't read them to the end. We're told at the very top, these guys were in someone's house impersonating police officers. That's bad. I don't want them. impersonating cops coming to my house. It's not defined until all the way down here. Simply as both work souls that had the word police officers. So it works. So you don't even know if it even looked like a police type act. They just said it somewhere. It could have said something like, Excuse my friend. <laughs> 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 they could have said that. They could have said that. Because this is all we've gotten so far that both had clothes that had the word police on. But you see where this is? You see how deep it is? We have to go to the bottom of the second page. All the way down. But I, I just want to make my things. I can't do this in 140 characters, you see. I have to walk it all the way through. Look, I took the scenic route to get here. But hopefully it was worth the trip, right? Did not impersonate. <laughs> right, that's the other part of it. They, they put that in the bottom too. That it is not believed that they impersonated police officers to get into the house. So, so why is it relevant that they had clothes on that police then? And why is it stated as an offset? I want you to see how these award-winning journalists from this great newspaper how they poison the mind of this propaganda. That's so far in there. It's so deep in it. Look, and right there, second to last, the detectives believe the men broke into the house but did not impersonate police to get injured. So, why do you think they were impersonating police? They weren't, evidently, because, you know, maybe they just like fashionable clothes. I have a shirt from the show Homicide, my favorite Baltimore crime drama, more favorite than The Wire, just because uh, some of the characters, some of the story, I love the show, show. <laughs> and of course, because my dad did the next story. It looks like the Baltimore police patch and all that matter, but it says, you know, homicide crew, as in the people who worked on it. On the back, it has the logo of the show. So, if I wore that, it could be argued that I was you know, first name, no, I'm the first name fictitious characters, mm -hmm. <laughs> if anything. But I, I just, I, I really want to drive on the point. When you start reading these articles, see this, Leo's a master doing this. Everybody here, almost everybody here is on Twitter. If you're not, you should be. And part of our homework assignment has to be dissecting these types of stories. Sometimes it can be summarized in 140 characters. Maybe you have to do it in two parts or whatever. But then asking the sensible questions of the authors. If enough people start doing it to them regularly, right. they'll start to change. They will. They won't do a 360. But one big change we want, and you can tell me if you notice this. They used to love telling these crime stats. Crime is down by X percentage. Now they say it would be reported crime because people like me constantly mm -hmm. say, that's the crime numbers you have for people actually report it. Mm -hmm. Half the people who are victims to crime in the city don't mm -hmm. report it. Just like sexual assault victims because of various reasons. A lot of rapes happen, you will never know about it. So you cannot take that number and say, well, this is gospel. It's not. But worse than that, we have a lot of evidence to believe that the rate of non-reporting is increasing because of disappointment in police response. Stops. And there's, there's so many reasons. So those numbers are worth very little, actually. Very, very little. But now when they put those numbers out, they we put that little caveat, reporting incidents of muggings, reporting incidents that. And I, I'm taking heart credit for it because people like us, we've been just hammering away. They can do whatever they want, but in the, between each of us, like you said, each one of us knows 10 people that respect us. And those people know 10. And when you counter the narrative, exactly. when you counter the narrative and, and posit a Full opposing power. viewpoint, it helps balance it out there in the universe. Okay, they said this. Mm -hmm. There's something to it. There's some truth in that one. We're saying this. We're saying. A shirt that says police is not a first name option. We're saying, well, you didn't talk to any local attorneys or civil rights activists about whether this was cool or not. You talked to people out of state, whatever. And that's my homework assignment to anyone doing this, is to start monitoring this stuff, reading these stories carefully with your third eye, and not just catching it, but putting it out there. You're not just putting it out there into the mythical universe, you put it out there into the Twitterverse, into the internet, it never really goes away. When you respond underneath their Twitter, anybody who puts on it is part of the chain. Yeah. 
when you do searches, if you use the right terms, it comes up in the results. You have to do this stuff to counter the bull that's out there. That's all I have to say. Thank you all so much for your attention and for listening. Yeah. Quick, quickly, were there any other questions? I asked a few. Leo always has questions. Well, I was going to say, uh, you know, this is such a good, like, demonstration. You know, I found it so useful having the whole thing broken down like that. Um, why don't we all collectively take our game up a notch from um, just, like, agitating to the police and Justin Fenton on Twitter? We, we, I mean, what, what do people think about the idea of making, like, a centralized website? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we should. I mean, it's a big part of this. That's what we... You remember News Trust? Yeah. I, I, I was yeah, the, that was good. I found a member of yeah. that, you know, and it was funded by billionaire George, George Soros. But um, they did it as an experiment in Baltimore, and it just, it, it was a great experiment. I, I have a nice little award I won for it, a plaque up in my They never tell you this, by the way, when they put my, their version of my bio as to why I deserve to be arrested and all that. <laughs> they don't tell you that this was in partnership with who? Baltimore Sun, among others, and we did News Trust, and this is what we did to articles. We rated articles as a collective community. We gave them a star rating. We put in little analysis of it. How credible is this? How many independent sources did they cite? What was the tone? What was the context? And we do this all the time. The editors submitted articles. You submitted articles. It was a great thing. I think it got killed because it was, well, because this is embarrassing. Yeah. When, you, when, you, when you put this out to enough people, and they, they, everybody starts looking at it a little differently. And their subscription base is dropping. It's doing They're the only game in town, so they still have a very fishy base, but it's not good. And greater than that, the level of skepticism out there is growing great. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I think that's the real reason you trust that kill, you know? It's, it, it's, not, just, it's not just the one It's, the, you know, when I mean, we were talking about the curb being. Uh, you know, that's a whole <laughs> that's other story. Another story. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other story, but it goes along. Tell them briefly, though. Um, about what we, just, what we discussed. Yeah, the, the, the curb being where the brother was. Coming from a bar and he mysteriously fell in the water. The military service. Uh, yeah, but it wasn't just that. What? Three weeks later? Uh, oh, the one right now. Right? Yeah, that's three. That makes three. Now, how many cameras wait, do you wait, count? You guys are starting sentences and not. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 i what, four months now? Uh, actually, the count was about six. Six altogether? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. People that have shown up in the water, because my point is, it's not just the murders, it's the, the whole corruption of Baltimore City in general. Because you can't just look at, me personally, I can't just look at, oh, the murder. That, 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 it's, Everything. And you're saying the people who show up in the water, their death is determined, undeterminable. Oh, because exactly. No, actually, they're going further. They're saying accidental, which is yeah. determination. Well, with, with, with Kirby, they didn't even want to deal with it. They brought in, what, the, the National Guard, which is, <laughs> blew my mind, blew our minds. And that was personal because it's a personal friend of mine. We went down. Yeah, we went actually down. Cameras down. Didn't count between what, the bar and the water. They can't provide one single video of anything five? shown. But if I snatched the purse, I'll be able to. But it was actually no. No, I'm glad you said that word undetermined. That's another way to keep the murder rate, the numbers down. We have hundreds of deaths that happen in the city that they check off the box. Tyrone oh, Lester. Oh, so that's, that's not a murder. You get to say your murder rate is X amount when you have a whole bunch that are undetermined. Right. I've taken classes from the medical examiner's office. There's only four check boxes when a person dies. It's natural causes, it's uh, homicide, accidental, or suicide. Undetermined is not. <laughs> it's really not. It's like, how did they die? It's either they themselves, somebody killed them, they slipped and fell, or they were just old or whatever. You know, the disease caught up to them. But this undetermined stuff, we have it more than anyone else. It's in my opinion, it's not I can't prove it. It's just a straight cover. It's a very easy way to dilute, to dilute the true amount of uh, homicide we have there. Nobody questions, nobody looks at it. But when I do it, well, you know, do my analysis is a year, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll get back to the uh, articles, considering I work for a paper, and also speak on the air as, as far as the uh, blogging and texting. But one main 
major issue that I spoke with a representative from ACLU as well as the Urban League is they're going after some of these quote unquote writers for this is called jury rigging also. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's jury, jury, jury rigging. Jury, oh, yeah. jury rigging, yeah. You have a right to a jury no matter what you are charged with. And due to the fact that you're giving this blatant misrepresentation mm -hmm. of any case, mm -hmm. you're stating that you, well, what you're doing is formulating an opinion. Without you even being able to have a, a trial amongst your peers, for one, and two, have a trial in which you think that you even have an opportunity to even win. Because hopefully he's already proven guilty and have not been, like you said, Guilty is Exactly. Quick question for you guys. I'm glad you brought that up. Because this is just one. We, we were told over and over that what they were first made police officers, right? One guy is alive, we hope. Even though Fenton said he already was dead, but we don't know. Nowhere in there does it say that he was charged with the first made police officer. Exactly. So why would the writer try to tell us that he was? If that's the case, my God, charge him with whatever you can. Or if you have a suspect arrested, as an officer, you charge them with everything that applies. They don't charge anybody on that the same way they did you. But look, you do notice that there's no word actually of what that other guy was charged with. We don't know if he was charged at all. We, we really don't. And that's really weird. Just just be frank. That's right? really, really weird. Well, if the shoe was on the other foot, and anybody in here spoke these words that were written in here, quote unquote, you could be charged with inside of the right. Yeah. And Bible. Yeah, I'm on other things. Um, every time I'm talking about the time again, and talking about the analysis, I just want to um, remind everybody that this language of epidemiology is ancient. That's right. And I think it serves two goals. I think it helps people think they're safe. Mm -hmm. I would have to can because he was a police officer. Mm -hmm. I would have to be because they're short. The skirt was too short. Mm -hmm. um, but this playing the victim ideology. It was by the. Yeah. Right, right, exactly. I got cancer. So therefore, they're justified in being killed. So I think we need to recognize that that, to me, is a comedy process, yes. um, as well as um, terrifying, the terrifying black male mm -hmm. that has well, uh, been in so literature sorry. since, you know, at least in America, since the 17th, certainly by the 1800s. You know, that was the terrifying thing. Was, you know, justified for lynchings. It was, you know, again, blaming the victim, but in this case, you're blaming the race and you're, you're just trying to create terror. But if we can just kill black men, then that's okay because we all know that black men are going to do that's what they do. And you know what's disturbing about this? I'm sorry. No, so well, she said, blame the black man. And we know this is a stereotype that's been fed in society. Okay, that's a society, right? But when you have trained professionals mm -hmm. who use it, that's disturbing. Anthony Fado, when he shot himself, that's what he put out as the phantom suspect because he knew that it would resonate. But more disturbing is that, what was the job of the police department? Who knows? What, what, what units did he work with? This is what? That's a Homicide. He investigated these murders. So that man with that kind of mindset who right. totally fabricated an incident and said, it was a, so how many of these cases that are solved were really solved when you have somebody like, who thinks like that, who's who was found to be a liar to commit a perjury? They tried multiple charges. <laughs> they said this dude had just robbed another police, but they said the dude, the second victim they shot, this guy had just done like four robberies in a row. Four, like, you know. right. By the way, father contributed to my case on the evening one of the Really? Yes. Then you have the violent crimes impact meeting. When we had that officer, Richard, arrested for uh, protecting a drug dealer, robbing, and whatever, he, part of his plea bargain was to snitch on other officers, which they found over 10 officers who were guilty of falsifying police reports. Mm -hmm. Those officers have never been identified. Yeah. This is the same unit that's, you know, multiple in custody deaths, multiple charges. The, the job out yeah. is not because they're always the ones doing whatever they want. Now the SES, the Special Enforcement Section, which is doing the same thing. Yeah. Responsible, responsible for killing the second unit this year. They said, oh, he shot himself in the head. <laughs> He's in the car and he shot himself yeah, in so the head. Got so scared. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what they would have said about me if the snipers got shot, by the way. I already know about the drop. I don't know if the more of this PA search in Baltimore Spectator. Very interesting. Uh,
<laughs> no, 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 literally, that was, that was the game plan. The snipers were on the roof, open, we had a shot, and we get it up. Thank you. Back to what Leo was saying about centralizing all this it was an idea that he was talking about before. We could have like a we could have like a WordPress site, Baltimore Sun debunked. <laughs> something, something like that. Mainstream media. Well, it's mainstream media in general because well, we everybody get, we can get follows. Each, each one of them, um, each one of the media's here in, in Maryland and here yeah. in, in the ones that we know, they are structured in alignment with the political party in power. Right. And what they do is keep the public agitated and fearful why they do they so black uh, right. Yeah, right. black people right. why they do what they do. They want to justify building new prisons, they want to justify spending money on policing. But the same crimes that have look, you close rec centers but you open up curfew centers. Right. Uh, yeah. You got the 24 hour curfew centers when you couldn't even pay for an eight hour rec center. So if you, just, if you lost that money there, how did you get the money to fund this? Now what you want to do with the curfew centers is, is feed the prison industry because now I grabbed your daughter, your son, and I'm holding him and he's become agitated. He became a threat. Now he's committed an assault. So while I was holding him in my detention center, I could not send him to the detention center. Anybody now, remember cash for children? Police at Lake Street here? Anybody remember that? What? Police at Lake Yeah. Different set of rec centers under police budget, but also some volunteer to be part of this program. The mentor is a great program, by the way, because the guys who were there, they wanted to be there. They weren't assigned to it. Well, they cut it out. They said there was no budget. They cut it out because if anything is going to, anything in this city, anything in this city that's going to save your youth is not going to feed the prisoners. Remember that van? They picked up the kids. Yeah. They took them home and everything. This was a great program. You know what they ain't going to The current transfer. The yeah. same yeah. ones. The I same ones that, that were taking these kids to basketball games and all that. Mm -hmm. Now they're rounding them up. And, you and know, you know, know. When, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Even before that, with the, the, the Big Brothers Big Sister program. Remember that? Uh, barely. No. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's still going on with the wire, but it's going on through through the funding of the of the agencies that they want. They're not in the areas that are hardest struck. They're they're in the areas that already and it's privately funded. Exactly. It's private for like yeah. People people give their own money for that. But other than that, I just I just sent out a, a post about Obama supposedly. Uh, I don't know if I saw it or not. You know, you gotta follow him on though. He doesn't tweet much, but just Facebook stuff. Yeah, I, I, well, I, I couldn't have it. I don't care. You got to strengthen both sides. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> but there's a post that I, I just put out where Obama supposedly cutting the whole uh, pipeline to prison thing. I'm watching that really close. And where. I'm just putting it out there. I didn't agree with it. I'm just saying. Stamps, Medicaid. Yeah, I think she is. I'm just putting it out there. So let's keep bringing this up to Bob Obama. I got locked up in a lot of Chicago. I'm from Chicago. I was making a movie, a documentary about the prison industry. Straight up, inside, the whole thing from start to finish. All right. Uh, the lawyers that get paid to lock you up, the politicians, the whole shebang. I named, I named the politicians, and I made a book about it, all right? All of this stuff is documented, very well documented, the names, the addresses, the politicians. And what they did is they took my property in both states, the state of Maryland and the state of Illinois. Right here is a court order that returned my property, and what it was was videos. This was in 2010. That was the case I got locked up in Illinois. This was in 2007 when I first started this because I was doing the prison industry from 1986 when the war on drugs started in 1977. The Iran Contra, I was in the Navy. We transported drugs. It, wasn't about yeah, just, it was not just about saying, don't yeah. ask, don't tell. Boy, we, as, we as yeah. military people transported normally and willingly at the expense and knowledge of our government. Oliver North. Got rich quick. Oliver North put the yeah. drugs in our community. We helped. Yeah. Okay? And what I did is I kept a diary of everything I'd done. It was my 401k. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this toilet that I put in front of the courthouse, if you look at it, it says evidence. You know, nothing on that toilet says bomb. 
Your first name is a terrorist. All right, and they labeled me, and they labeled this toilet a, a terrorist act, it's a bomb, right? And what the toilet says is do not destroy. This is evidence. I had a case against Governor O'Malley, Bank of America, and my son in Baltimore City, February the 24th, 2011. That toilet was evidence for that case. But they locked me up to keep that case from coming to life, and I've been fighting this case ever since. Everybody who came to my trial, seen that I won the trial, I fired my lawyer, I defended myself. It was stupid, but it had to be done. Because they were selling us out. Schellenberger, Bernstein worked with the public defenders in this state to sell black, Hispanic, and poor white straight to the prison industry. And I can prove it because I was there. They did what they did to this man because me and this man was live streaming. And we was getting ready. Literally, like the last act. Now, our last act <laughs> together, we was live streaming. November 27th, seven days later, they locked him up after we did a live stream in front of City Hall. Right in front of City Hall. Right in front of City Hall. And, we, <laughs> and this was our plan, was to develop our own form of media to contradict what's going on. Now, me personally, I beat the media up when I said it. I chased them off the block. I don't even like them to even put the cameras up. When they see me, they break themselves. Just that simple. That's how you gotta treat them. If you don't treat them like that, they're gonna keep treating you. So I've established my presence. He's established his. This man is just creating a whole new industry for us. Hello, this man. Yeah. Let me ask you all something. This, this is so important to develop independent media in a city like this. I'll tell you why. I mean, I, I've traveled around the world. I have a family that looks like the United Nations, literally. You look at me now, you're never going to be on part Chinese, but I am. <laughs> you know, it's a small part, but it's a real part. I, I say all that because what's been very curious about Baltimore to me is literally the makeup of the media. You have a city that's 70, maybe more percent black, no. and you look at the media and, no. well, that's, that's, that's the very bobble heads on the news. What it would be like, it, it would be like if we went to, say, uh, I'm, I'm San Francisco. Who's telling the story of who? But you understand what I'm saying? It's like we have people going into black communities telling stories that's supposed to be about the suffering and the travails of black people, but they're not black Now, they, they, anyone can tell a story, don't get me wrong, but you mean to tell me that with Morgan State, Capitol, there are no black qualified writers. And that's why all these years I've been here, you haven't seen any of these people no. working for this. Well, and Eric Green is black and one of the best writers for the Sun. Yeah, she's pretty good. The education column yeah. is pretty she's straight up. Like so. But that's what I mean. It, 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 it shouldn't be like, well, yeah, there is a one or two exceptions. Right. Yeah, but as soon as she gets to the point where she starts caring about the community, she out of here. <laughs> you got great, you had other, you had, I can show you, like I said, I've been doing this since 2006. I can show you where they recycle writers yeah, sure. and reporters, and but when see, we put the what camera she on does, they, she does, she, is she good. keeps like shit pretty <laughs> neutral, which is what a major newspaper, it's like we can have a left-leaning newspaper that spits the real radical side. The sun, the Baltimore sun, is supposed to shine the light on everything equally. And like, so she does a pretty good job of that, of keeping it balanced. That's why I... I don't, know, I don't look at the sun very much, but this is like so obviously slanted. It's obscene. But they're the only thing with now. But so let's, we've been complaining a lot. Can we get back to what, how we're going to fix it? I want Leo's idea. I'm like, he I'm had a great idea. They're all in one city. Okay. Yeah. But I've been thinking we need to put all these little branches we have together on. Put a WordPress. Here's the section for you know your articles. Here's the section for our videos. Here's the section for our radio. That's what I'm all these could be a multiple people. We got broadcasts. We got <laughs> what? Yeah. State of the city. We got shop right here. We can put all of our networks together onto a single platform. And that doesn't align with Zuckerberg's. But I think you got to do a multi-hit too. We oh, yeah. can talk about the age brutality. Oh yeah, no. So, I mean, we have to talk about all the issues yeah. because it's all about not only economics, but it's also about the corporate. I mean, you have you're surrounded by nine hospitals and then clinics that are here. Healthcare is the major thing that's bringing money in. Now, if you're not going to prison, then we're putting your child or even the adult on some kind of drug. 
And if I'm putting you on drugs, that also kind of nullifies your voting ability because I know if I drug you enough, you're not going out and vote. And then you're just privy to anything that goes down. So us to be those people too. I mean, because we got to get voter registration, you know what I mean? We got to get involved in other aspects too. Because how we want to create an environment in which we can give the simple information and then have to pass it over to someone else too. Because literally, we got a brain trust right here. But right outside these doors right here, these same individuals and those books that are on the shelves have to reflect what we're talking about here. Because every aspect of our lives is also monitored and everything. One level. 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 That same program, and yes, which is here for product right up the street here, takes kids out of the juvenile system and tries to transition them into everyday life. Now, along with us, we have to also learn to deal with them on the buses, on the train. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I know it sounds like a big, big job, but actually, they're actually looking at us to see how we react to situations. And I think we're the best people that can do it. Yeah, and I was going to make a, a suggestion that goes along with that, which is that I'd like to see a um, uh, dealing with the police and media training, um, but that's not just a one way. That's like, oh, here, we are adults and we know what you should know, but that's also uh, a, like dialogical. And so, what are some of your experiences? Because we know that if you go by the books with police, with police, okay. yeah, you're gonna get, you're gonna go to jail because you can't tell the police that you have rights. They don't want to hear that shit, <laughs> especially if you're alone. Um, so, so there's like two two tacks to take. One is to like really like kowtow and get yourself out of it, which sometimes for self-preservation is just what you have to do, especially if you're alone. And then on the other tip. Well, even if you're doing that, like, how do you memorize a badge number? Like, how do you, you know, that while you're kowtowing and get, getting yourself out of harm's way, how do you memorize the badge number? What do you do when, as soon as you get home, how do you report it? Um, and then also, if you are with a group of people or you're in a well-lit public place, how do you exercise your rights without escalating the situation, but also for us to listen to the young people about what they see and their stories and um, how we can support them. How do you set up live streaming on your yes. smartphone? Right. Yes. How do you set up live streaming <laughs> on your smartphone? And what do I do? Like, do you want to like cut a little hole in your jacket pocket so that you can just like drop it in and walk up to them and they don't even know you're filming? I don't know. Maybe you do. Your mom might get mad, but. Kind of what I'll tell you. One of the keys, and of course, you can't guarantee this all the time, but key, not to be alone. Yeah, I was never part of The best I have from all of my work doing this is me getting locked up at the impound station. Now, a lot of people watch it, and they don't realize, well, if I'm being handcuffed and locked up, this is my baby. Who's filming? Yeah. Nobody's filming those lady T is who help me, because we plan the whole thing out. I'm going to go up with the camera there. I'll just focus on me. Nobody's looking at you. They don't even know you're in there with me. She went in well ahead of me. I was sitting in the lobby with playing with her phone, whatever. And as soon as I walked in, she puts it on record. It's we knew that they would tell us on being recorded. <laughs> but I was being recorded, recording them. Right. That case got thrown out because the report said I was being belligerent, and I was doing all this thing. And I went to the press I gave them the DVD, and I said, well, after you watch it, you tell me if this case is going forward or not. Uh -huh. There was nobody being belligerent. I had a camera in my hand, and a public pulse. Oh, You're allowed to do that. So it didn't save you from getting arrested yet. But mm -hmm. I'll tell you what did happen. I didn't get bothered for a long time after that. I mean, eventually they just, whatever, they forget to. But key, like I said, as much as possible, not being alone, hey, we're gonna, there's gonna be several of us. It's gonna be our word against it, not my word against it, but that. Right? Yeah, that <laughs> gonna is gonna be the key because that's what they use against you. Yep. You got to use it against them. Yeah. If you put 911 on your speed dial, you hit 911 if you buy yourself. Right. That records the call and that right. goes to an operator. That operator has to call you back or talk to you physically. So when they hit that 911, hand it to that police officer and let him explain why. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what else that does? Time stamps. The time stamps what's happening to you. 
and it protects you. It keep, it, I ain't saying it saves you. I ain't gonna get it twisted, but it is a, 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 a something to help you. And that's the simplest tool that you can use. 911 on speed dial. It works for you and your community if you get raped, robbed, or whatever, and the same thing work against the police. Let me give you a quick two on this. I'm sorry. No, no. We have Okay, I was just gonna, because you know, you did say a lot of things about, or you did ask that we like um, brainstorm solutions. So like, I just want to give my, you know, my skill set, my whatever I can do. But I love visual anthropology. Like I'm a documentary person. I want to get better at that. And you know, one of the things that I've noticed released recently is, you know, the viral kind of things that galvanize the community. Like Baltimore, you're breaking my heart, that article. Like now wow. everyone's talking about it. There's responses and blah, blah, blah. And you know, you're talking about the youth who have these stories and like the police that you can talk to and like this group of individuals doing this in this space and like you can record all of that, you can. And you know, my thing is like I wanna put that in one, you know, I wanna do that in one project. I wanna do something that maybe yeah, it's cliche, but it galvanizes the community. If if we have, you know, strips of paper with a website, we give it out at bus stops, the only thing on that website is this documentary. It's like, you know, it's not that long, people can pay attention to it, people will pick it up, you know, so. That's how they did the underground, that 18 pounds, a little strip of paper, a little bit mm -hmm. on a tree. We gotta take two steps back. I'm not afraid to talk to people, so I'm talking like, get on the bus and be like, do you have an issue with this, do you have an issue with this, do you have an issue with this, go here, that's it. Like, not this long speech, like, just let, people seek out the information but make it very easy for them to get it and you know have it all very concise. Yeah. Because you know, I love what you do with your stuff with recording and everything. But sometimes it's just too long. Uh, like sometimes yeah. you just don't have time. You know, have something that's like concise and it's very ninety seconds. You know, so nah, yeah, that's that's <laughs> yeah. Um, you asked for uh, to change the subject but on the same bigger topic. Uh, a real life tool that I, 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 I put together by the street journal in class about these tips. There's two simple apps that you can have. Of course, you know about what's the Dropbox, I think. Yeah, but Google has one too. You immediately want to take pictures of this phone, they're uploaded to the cloud. They just take this phone, stop on, smash on, put the photos somewhere else. And so is the video. I have two different apps doing it. They're in two different places under two different passwords. The stuff doesn't die, it doesn't just go away. Every video, every picture I take, as soon as it's done, it starts going up. The downfall of I do the same thing. They can take mm -hmm. this yeah. and remove all And they do take it. So There's apps that you're allowed to do. They can with this. That's, that's, that's oh, important. Cool. You still have it. I feel like that's, that's important. If you're going to do this stuff, that's important. Because even if they're found to be wrong in the violation, or your phone's gone, you're going to have to smash it. You have to be prepared for that because that's what these people do. Take that loss. And, and lastly, I want to plug one of my upcoming projects. Why? Because I think there's at least two people in here who might be interested in helping me with it. So this is a cheap plug. I but told no, you. Talk about the place where everybody can go, and I would like this to be in concert with that, linked to this or whatever. Mm -hmm. But one thing that really bothers me, I've been covering crime in the city. Baltimore Spectator has been up for five years. Mm -hmm. I was doing it longer than that. I did it anonymously under a totally different name, which I still have to tell people. Some people know. I think everybody who dies a violent death, and it's a sad thing, deserves their story told. Whatever that story is. Not a blur, also dead with Leo Zimmerman. <laughs> okay. So, you know, like, you know, like Arthur, you know, like, 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 you know, where we took turns, we all watched a different 11 o'clock newscast at the same time to see who would cover the shooting that happened. Jay Z didn't even touch it at all. They didn't even mention it happened. And I forgot which one. We, 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 you know. But the point is this that adds to a feeling of selflessness and low self worth to kids in this town. It really does. Because if I, if I was a little kid and that was my buddy who died and they didn't even mention on the news or whatever, I mean, you know, well, let's face it, it's happened, but they're not covering the story. In fact, they tore down a street memorial. They to do it. Yeah. So, real quick. <laughs> To, to, to tell you what this is, we can talk about it another time, doesn't mean Twitter, network. I'm coming up, I'm putting together now, I don't know what the dot com name will be, but the name of the site is Baltimore Departed. And I want to numerically document every single murder that's happened this year. And we can backtrack and add those as we fill in, but it's very simple. As information is available, crowdsource is added in. 
a name, mm -hmm. a picture, the date, comment section where people who know this person say, but it'll all be in one place. It's not necessarily a new site, it's literally the people who unfortunately have fallen victim to the violence and see. To my knowledge, we don't have anything like that. That's a good idea. You can go there and it will be searchable. If you just know the street where it happened, you put that in, gosh, 12 people died there. I didn't know that or whatever, but so I'm looking for help with this is why I bring this up. And this is in concert with everything else. It's not a competition or anything like that. And of course, you can link the news coverage right. to each death, and that would be interesting too. Wow, only one story just got that? And the only way it will be successful is through crowdsourcing because we can't all monitor and know everything. So, hey, wait a minute. Hey, wow, I just found a new article on such and such murder. You put it on there. And uh, well, how does that sound to you guys? Yeah. That looks a good idea. Be in touch with me. You don't mind me. I'll give it to I just had a question. So, you know, I, we do have a lot more of these, right? Of these classes or sessions or whatever. But, you know, I, I want to know a tip to, like, memorize a badge number real quick or, like, what to say to a police officer when you're in a situation where you're obviously watching them be. Keep addressing them by his name. His name is Sir. No, no. What's, what's your name again? Old. Her name is Sir. Olga? Olga. <laughs> Olga? Yeah. Officer Olga. Are you going to arrest me today? You keep saying it. And you're memorizing it. You're saying, Officer Oka, why, why are you in my face? I, I do it all the time. You can see it on some of my videos. I'm doing it. It's annoying them, but I'm doing it so I remember it. Ask them for their business. Because once you get arrested, so much is going to happen. They're going to take everything on you. Any note you have, that's gone, whatever. And you're going through the traumatic experience of it. But if I said Officer Oka 10 times, oh, God. It's Officer Oka. I mean, that's just one little tip I have. You just keep saying they're going to be. I mean, know in a respectful way. Though. And try not to be emotional. We are all guilty of it sometimes. We can't get okay, mad. We do <laughs> that. We, we might, we might you know, put that extra emphasis on certain words. <laughs> the police got this little. Don't do what I do. The police got this little thing where your, your voice and your decibel is louder than this, or certain keywords you use, that's when they go into their dumb ass. I like that. That's the official mode. <laughs> it's on the computer. All it is, it is. You can get more bees with honey than you do a stick. And that's all good to the day when you got to it. Because it's hard to hold your emotions when you see these things going on and to bite your tongue. And I am the one that has really, really got to work on that. <laughs> Poor Mama City. Yeah. See, that's so much better. Yeah. There's a lot of great things about the city. And I, we feel that this other crap overshadows it. And ultimately, that, that's kind of why we're here. You know? I mean, it's like we can, more of this stuff could, could be out there, but there's this, 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 this negative element in the room of this violence and how it's being held in effectively. And how we have this police department that's more part of the problem than our yeah. solution. I mean, that's, at least that's my summary of it. It's so true. If, if you ever knew about the 60s, the 50s, and the 40s, this is the same thing. They're, they're killing us on an astronomical rate the same way that they was lynching. Except now they don't have to say the Ku Klux Klan is doing it. You got four black police officers killing black men, so that's for that. It's not racist. It's not racist. It's not racist. But it's still a racist act yeah. because you completed the Stockholm Syndrome where these officers have identified with their captors and are claiming that we are the. The end. Whether you call it classism, elitism, or what have you, it's definitely this element of us versus them. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. Officers, they, there is some, one of the criminologists did a timeline of Italian officer, you know. There's a certain amount of that get in there because they really want to good. And so you take that, the different things they have, they become jaded and all that. They really quickly become us versus them. They see Every, the whole world is us, the police, and them, criminal suspects. Everybody. That's why you get shot for carrying draw a cash in hand. Again, a criminal act, let's, let's give it that, but a capital crime? Probably not. Well, in Baltimore, <laughs> you have corrupt these dogs, bro. Like in DC, New York, in Chicago, Harbor Town, that corruption is that new blue line. It really has nothing to do with after I joined the force to see the constitutional laws. <laughs> It's about if you're on this force and you're in a particular section or department, and it's not just the narcs that are taking money, you know what I mean? And it is all about the money. It's quite clear and it's quite apparent. Now, it's our job to prove it, you know what I mean? Because they do a good job of covering up, you know what I mean? Because you've got judges taking money for children going to juvenile courts. 
on not even misdemeanors and telling them not to get involved. Lawyers. I mean, this is literally happening. And I mean, the ACLU is talking about it. Uh, Office of Justice is not only talking about it. But we're going now. It's going to the Supreme Court. But nonetheless, it's getting proven now by people with their phones and everything else. So this is a totally different, you know what I mean, atmosphere that's going on now, which is perfect. Now, I have notes of how to pass it on to our children and even adults. Like, if you have a venue such as this, we do it across the board with poets. But we do slam contests, we do the uh, picnics, uh, you know, we give our freebie. Because you have a bookstore. Knowledge is here. Knowledge is in the stage right here. In order to get it out there, we have to disseminate it. And I think these are some of the best venues to do it. But you also got to know that we're not taking any, you know what I mean, we're not laying down on this. We have to let people know. So I don't believe in this per se, but I do believe in self-defense by any means necessary. And I, when I bite down and fight down, I was cointel pro into thinking that I was doing something in the military that was for the people and by the people and came back here and found out I became the enemy. And therefore, now, this is the same enemy that I'm fighting here, so I would do any means necessary, especially when they taught me, other than being seen on camera taking somebody out. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I think we might be looking at like a networked bunch of websites rather than just right. one, which the advantage of that too is it's harder to take out 10 websites than it is one, although we could have one central one that's like an index. Oh, maybe like a spider, like a spider's wheel, one this and everything feed off of it, like a hand. Could, yeah, it could have a central one. Like, okay, so everybody can share their links to that. Yeah, and if someone wants to make All right, so there you have it, people. Uh, we had our uh, meeting here at Red Emma's coffee shop here in San Francisco. I mean, San Francisco, guys. Sorry, we're in Baltimore, and uh, we're going to wrap up the meeting here in just a second. I really thank you for watching. Uh, the next broadcast will be next week on February 20th. Uh, we'll be here in Baltimore for a. Uh, there's trying to trying to build build some kind of water purification place here. I don't know the details, but it will be on February 20th. Please join me. Thank you very much for watching. This is Freeman Sullivan signing out, and have a good evening. Bye-bye, people.